as the we have done in the case of inverse trigonometric function the same uh, uh, same procedure will be yeah same method we will apply here okay what was that if you are interested to find the inverse uh, of uh, So, what will be that uh, the same procedure which I have applied? Uh, yes, let let uh, y equal to sin hyperbolic inverse x. This implies that x is will be equal to sin uh, hyperbolic y. Yes, and uh, this implies that dx over dy that will be equal to yes what is the derivative of sin that is a cos cos hyperbolic y yes dy over dx okay uh, sorry dy over dy because we are taking the derivative with respect to y. dy uh, divided by dy that is equal to 1, okay. So, that is equal to 1. So, that will be equal to cos hyperbolic y. So, uh, this implies that dy, we actually we have to find the, this we have taken this is the uh, y. We may say that that is actually the dy over dx, yes. So, that is why uh, we have to take inverse of that, that will be a dy over dx that will be 1 over cos hyperbolic y, okay. And what is the, uh, I have already uh, explained what is the relation between uh, sin hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic, because we have to convert it into the, we have to, because this is given. So, I have to convert this cos in into the sign because we do not know the value of sign. We know only the value, uh, we know only the value of uh, uh, sign in the term of x. So, we have to convert into, yes, yes, that was a cos hyperbolic square x minus sin hyperbolic, uh, if that is y, you may uh, consider that, that sin hyperbolic that is equal to 1. So, this cos hyperbolic will be equal to cos hyperbolic uh, y, uh, y will be equal to 1, uh, 1 plus sin hyperbolic square y or cos hyperbolic y will be, uh, yes you are right, 1 plus sin hyperbolic y square y and this is 1 plus x square, okay. So, this will be a uh, 1 plus x square. So, this will be the, so that the formula is the same as we have uh, drive in for the inverse, okay. So, that will be a uh, 1 divided by uh, 1 uh, plus x square, okay. There is a, I think, a little bit difference of the sign, okay. This Proof is the same as uh, we have done in the so same the uh, uh, now exercise is uh, what is the uh, d over cos hyperbolic inverse x divided by dx? Uh, we have to find the value of this. Okay. Uh, the same uh, as I have done in the uh, previous exercise let that is the exactly the same as we have done in the case of the inverse trigonometric function sin and cos that is nothing the new okay. Formula is different, but uh, formula sheet will be provided fortunately provided in the exam. So, that is uh, and that mean you must not be worried about that okay. So, let uh, y equal to uh, cos hyperbolic inverse y. Uh, converse x, oh no sorry, yes, uh, cos hyperbolic inverse x, this implies that uh, x is equal to cos hyperbolic minus y, 
dx over dy. Yes, what is the derivative of uh, sorry cos hyperbolic? when that is uh, the x will be cos hyperbolic y what is the derivative of uh, cos hyperbolic sin. sin that is not minus sin that is a sin ok. So, that will be a uh, sin hyperbolic y dy over dx uh, as I have already dy over dy is equal to 1. So, that is why I do not need to mention here again ok. So, uh, this implies that dy over dx that will be equal to 1 over sin hyperbolic y as again uh, the, um, uh, we know that uh, we know that the we have only value uh, of a uh, cos not a sign. So, we have to convert this uh, sign into uh, the uh, cos. So, uh, so sin hyperbolic y will be sign will be moved here. So, uh, that will be uh, uh, cos hyperbolic square y minus 1 or uh, sin hyperbolic y is uh, x square minus 1. Yes, you are right under root. You, I agreed with you. Thank you. So, uh, so that means uh, x square minus 1. Okay. So, so that is the different. Here that was a 1 plus x square, but here is a x square minus 1. Why? Because when uh, sign will move to uh, towards here, that will become a plus and min uh, 1 will become here, then that will become a minus 1. That is the uh, different from the uh, the uh, the uh, this formula or a previous formula. So, okay. So, this will be the solution for uh, uh, cos hyperbole. Next exercise is uh, cos sin tan inverse hyperbolic yes what will be that ha huh, yes uh, the same yes let uh, y equal to tan hyperbolic inverse x yes this implies that dy over dx yes oh, no sorry this implies that x equal to tan hyperbolic y ok this implies that dx over dy yes what is the yes second hyperbolic square y ok when we take inverse yes 1 over second square y or uh, second uh, y second yes what is formula yes second hyperbolic square is equal to 1 hyperbolic square ok. So, uh, and her tan hyperbolic is x that will be equal to 1 over minus x cube. So, 1 into 1 minus x cube. Uh, next topic is uh, uh, d by dx cot uh, hyperbolic x. 
okay uh, uh, solution as we have done in the uh, previous exercise uh, let uh, y equal to cot hyperbolic uh, x this implies that x equal to cot hyperbolic minus 1 y this implies that dx over dy oh sorry x because here x equal to cot hyperbolic y dx over dy yes minus c s c cosecant hyperbolic hyperbolic square y yes okay and uh, Inverse of this, CSC is also defined as a cosecant and cosecant is equal to cot hyperbolic square cosecant hyperbolic square is equal to 1 so so uh, cosecant will be uh, uh, cot hyperbolic square minus 1 okay and cot hyperbolic is uh, x so that will be equal to minus 1 1 minus x square minus one. yes you are right you are absolutely right we may write in this uh, there is a little bit difference that is condition on the uh, value of x but uh, I have excluded for uh, because you are not a uh, uh, math student that is why uh, the uh, remaining is the same but there is a condition on the uh, value of x uh, the uh, boundaries values of x ok. So next is uh, next exercise is about secant. solution yes uh, let uh, y equal to secant hyperbolic 1 x x equal to secant hyperbolic y dy oh dx over dy will be Yes, what is the uh, minus second hyperbolic tan hyperbolic y? Okay, yes, and uh, this implies that dy over dx. Okay. Tan hyperbolic is uh, uh, one minus uh, yes, one minus one minus secant hyperbolic square. Okay. Okay. Do so then. The next is uh, I um, in the previous time I have already uh, 
explain the reason of that okay, because uh, we have to exclude the negative value. But uh, there is uh, some limitation on that. Okay, so, so that's uh, uh, the next exercise is uh, second. Second hyperbolic inverse x. Yes. Solution. Let y equal to. Yes, what is the derivative of uh, minus, co minus cosecant hyperbolic and multiple cot hyperbolic one, okay. Cose uh, cosecant. Uh, uh, Cosecant may write in the, um, they may write as a cosecant or they may write as a CSC. I have uh, uh, used this notation in a, your mid exam and I have already. Uh, uh, mid may be many use here or I have uh, I used it in the formula sheet I and I have mentioned that they have uh, two notations, okay. Mostly books uh, and uh, uh, latex use this formula, uh, this notation so that's why I'm using this, okay. What is the relationship between the uh, yes, cot hyperbolic is last one. Okay. Yes, so that will be equal to so that's all about the uh, uh, hyperbolic function. Okay, completed. Okay, so that's completed. Okay.